Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about electron microscopy, one of the very important topic of scattering spectroscopy. Okay, so electron microscopy in this particular video, we are going to discuss about its basic introduction and its instrumentation process. So before we are going to discuss about the electron microscopy's basic introductions, we have to know about microscopy. So what is microscopy? So basically, if we are going to uh, define a microscopy is, so microscopy is the technical field of using microscope to view objects and areas of objects that cannot be seen with the naked eye. This is the basic definition of microscopy. Uh, these are uh, microscopy are three types basically, optical microscope, uh, electron microscopy, scanning probe microscopy. There are many types like uh, a bright field microscopy, dark field microscopy, confocal microscopy, phase contracts, fluorescence, this all are type of optical microscopy. Okay, and electron microscopy have also two type is a uh, TAME and same is uh, transmission electron microscopy, scanning electron microscopy. In our uh, further video, we are going to detail explanation about TAM and SAM. And third is scanning probe microscopy. Its also type is AFM. It's uh, atom force microscopy. So this is the micro, uh, this is the definition of microscopy. And this is three types of microscopy. And there, and they has also many types of microscopy we use in our lab. So optical microscopy is very, uh, useful and very uh, and it's generally used in our labs but electron microscopy why we use electron microscopy electron microscopy has high resolution power and high magnification power than optical microscope that's why we use electron microscopy to uh, to know to know about the, our samples uh, in details that's why we use electron microscopy so what is microscopy let's start its basic introduction so the electron microscope is an optical instrument for obtaining in large image of either a small object or a small portion of large object this is the basic definition or basic introduction of electron microscopy electron beam is used as a radiation source in this technique huh. electron beam is used as a radiation source that's why its name is electron microscopy so uh, electron beam is very important uh, uh, electron uh, beam is very important because of uh, because of electron beam uh, we uh, find out the uh, ultra structure of our compositions of our sample that's why we use electron beam in this electron microscopy third point is electron microscopy is used whenever greatest resolution is required definitely uh, when we re uh, when we require great greatest resolution or high magnification power of that sample so we use electron microscopy that's why we uh, that's why we don't use uh, light microscopy because uh, light microscopy has low magnification power uh, than electron microscopy. So this is the basic points of electron microscopy. Now the instrumentation uh, process and this is the instrumentation diagram of uh, electron microscopy. Let's uh, discuss about the instrumentation process of electron microscopy. So first is metal casing. We use metal casing because uh, our all the function is work in uh, vacuum that's why we use metal casing uh, to save that vacuum uh, vacuum by unwanted air uh, and this is tungsten electron this is the our electron source that produce electron beam and it uh, close to metallic grid and that is tungsten electron which is source of electron beam it's produce electron beam then uh, second is anode anode has a very important work it's accelerate that electron beam that's why uh, electron beam is directly go to the sample that's why we use the anode and third is magnetic coil magnetic coil is the uh, focus the electron beam toward the sample this is our sample so magnetic coil has also very important work uh, that focus the electron beam toward the sample uh, specimens that is our sample and objective lens when sample uh, yeah uh, then our first image is uh, first image we get from there and the second image we get from there that has a uh, low magn uh, magnification power and this uh, uh, and that has a uh, high magnification power so in electron microscopy we get two image first is 
there and second is there so this is uh, an objective lens and projecting lens lens has a very important work uh, work they just uh, produce image from electron using electron beam so that is the process of electron beam uh, it's in sort uh, electron this is the electron source is it, it produce electron beam this is anode accelerated uh, uh, electron beam this is magnetic coil it's uh, electron beam um, it focus the electron beam towards the sample as specimen then we got our first image and then second image it has a high magnification power so that is the process of electron microscopy now the types of my electron microscopy uh, we use two type of electron microscopy first is sam and tam uh, it is scattering uh, scanning electron microscopy uh, transmission electron microscopy so it's, uh, what is the difference between sam and tam it is very important so depth resolution is high in sam it's 10 to 100 nanometer and in tam 1 to 10 nanometer and lateral res resolution is 1 to 10 nanometer and 0 0.1 uh, in tam 0 0.1 to 1 nanometer it's also called picometer uh, 100 picometer to 1 nanometer we also tell uh, 100 picometer 100 picometer to 1 nanometer its resolutions and magnification is very important magnification has a 10 to 5 lakh x in uh, sam and magnif magnification power of tam is 2000 to uh, 1 million x uh, magnification power that's why we use sam and tam it is very important in our further video we are going to individual uh, videos on sam and tam it is very important we are discuss about its basic introduction its instrumentation applications of sam and tam and in electron microscopy cannot done for living cell and materials and uh, important points points are the image of uh, electron microscopy can show the ultra structure of cell or any specimen this is the important of um, important point of electron microscope so that that is for today's uh, actually this is this is the uh, important discuss about the electron microscopy this is the notes i hope this will helpful for your examinations exam preparation it is very important for semester exam point of view and um, i provide you a handmade note it is enough for your semester exam point of view and before that i use uh, before in in a, in my previous video i discuss about auger electron spectroscopy which is very important for uh, very important topic of scattering spectroscopy so i recommended that video uh, link in description box please go and watch that video first uh, that is also very helpful in your second semester msc second semester examinations uh, so that is uh, the notes of electron microscopy i hope uh, it's useful for all and this is the basic introduction and this is the uh, process of um, its instrumentation uh, i hope this video will helpful for uh, for you in my uh, further video please uh, support if you like if if you find it's helpful for you so please support like share and subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching